This month, Mountain Lake PBS celebrates a special anniversary of one of our most acclaimed original documentaries. Songs to Keep, Treasures of an Adirondack Folk Collector, relates the story of North Country resident Marjorie Lansing Porter. She was a historian who recorded folk songs in the 1950s and 60s from older people who likely learned the tunes from their grandparents. The songs were originally created by folks who worked in mines, forests, and farms, people who sang while trying to pick a living out of our rugged Adirondack land. The petite and soft-spoken porter lugged a 20-pound soundscriber dictation machine within the blue line to capture the recordings on soft vinyl disc. As these scenes from our documentary show, her life and work were commemorated with several projects in 2013. It was Porter's saving of folk songs that excited the album producers in the summer of 2013. 72 years earlier, in 1941, Porter met a grandmother named Lily DeLorme who was engaged in a spinning wheel demonstration, a turning point for Porter. Somehow, I don't know if Lily started singing a song, but then Marjorie understood that she might know a lot of old songs, and she said, do you know the words of a song that my mother used to sing to me called The Banks of Champlain? And Lily said, sure, and she started singing it for her, and that's actually when Marjorie began her field work of collecting and recording the songs. Porter captured the folk songs before the only old timers who remembered them passed away. Her collection includes many logging and mining songs unique to the Adirondack region. They filled up their bottles and swore solemnly that that very day they would go on a spree and sing Paul the Dolatty, right Paul the Dolatty, sing Paul the Dolatty, right Paul the Dolatty. Songs to Keep documents the efforts of contemporary musicians to celebrate the old songs in 2013 with an album featuring singers Dave Ruck, Lee Knight, Dan Berggren, Celia Evans, Sue Grim Henley, and Jamie Savage. Adirondack campers Michael and Kevin Bacon perform on the album as the Bacon Brothers. There's a path that leads back to my Adirondack home. I'm going back tonight, and I never more will roam. The documentary features footage from a regional concert tour of the folk songs and the final television interview given by singer Pete Seeger, who had collaborated with Porter on music projects. County historians tend to be men. Marjorie Lansing Porter must have been an unusual woman. And I think it will be women who will help save the world. Songs to Keep premiered 10 years ago this month on Mountain Lake PBS. It went on to win a regional Emmy Award for Best Documentary before appearing on many PBS stations across the country. Our producer Paul Larson collaborated with videographers Daniel McCullum and Paul Frederick on the documentary. The concert, album, and documentary project partners included Tawny, traditional arts in upstate New York, SUNY Plattsburgh, and the Adirondack History Center Museum. To celebrate its anniversary, we're airing the documentary in place of Mountain Lake Journal next week. You may see Songs to Keep, Treasures of an Adirondack Folk Collector on Friday, December 29th at 8 p.m. and Saturday the 30th at 7 p.m. on Mountain Lake PBS.